Hey there friends and frenemies, it's Walker with DIY.life and in this episode I'm going to teach you how to make a super bright LED light for under $50. Whoa! LED lights have gotten pretty affordable over the years, but maybe you forgot to pack yours to your video shoot and you're in a pinch and the only store open at 6 a.m. is the home improvement store. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to make this bad boy uh, pretty plug and play, no wiring required, uh, and we're gonna compare it to this newer 660 light just to see what kind of light it puts out. Making the light itself is pretty straightforward. You just need to get a bunch of these outlet to socket adapters some LED lights like these bright sticks. Screw that guy into there. Plug this into the adapter and plug the adapter into the power strip. And there you have it. Doesn't get much easier than that. The newer NL660 is actually a great little light and I love it. I've got about eight of them here in the studio and I can't say enough good things about them. Check my review on that one. All right, now let's do a head-to-head -head where we compare the newer light to the DIY light. So here's the DIY light about five feet away from a wall uh, at F 5.0, 30th of a second, ISO 100. The thing actually puts out a nice soft shadow. And here's the newer 660 light, uh, about the same color temperature. Um, the newer light does put out nice shadows as well, maybe even a little softer, uh, but all in all, pretty close. What I like about this light is that it's cheap, it's easy to make, it's affordable, and it puts out a nice, bright, soft light, which is great for photography and videography. Now, what I don't like about it is that you have to plug it in, so it's not portable, it doesn't run off a of battery, etc. But if you're in a pinch and you need a little light, this could be a way to go. That's about all I have for this episode. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and we will see you next time. Why? Why is it so bright?